Everybody knows that when their food arrives at the restaurant table, it looks rather different than in the advertisements or on the menu. That's because professional food photographers know dozens of tricks to make food look better, even if they have to add some very special ingredients to get the perfect shot. Soups brimming with contents. Most pictures of soup seem to have vegetables and noodles clear as day, but in reality, they would quickly sink to the bottom of the bowl. To achieve this floating effect, photographers will often use another small dish turned upside down to create a platform. Those refreshing ice cubes might be fake. The soda in advertisements is definitely desirable, but the ice you see might not actually be cooling the drink down. Under heavy studio lights, real ice would melt rather quickly, so photographers would have to get their shot fast. Often, glossy, perfectly formed plastic cubes are used instead, giving plenty of time to get the right shot. Soda splashes too good to be true. It turns out it's not just the ice in the drinks that is misleading. The drinks themselves might have undergone some trickery as well. For some advertisements, those big splashes are actually constructed with plastic, explaining why they look so fake. With a high enough budget though, photographers can use a high shutter speed camera to capture real splashes, provided they go as planned. Impossibly perfect grill marks. More often than not, grill marks on meat or vegetables are unnatural, being precisely placed with a soldering iron or charcoal starter rather than by actual cooking. And speaking of not completely cooking the meat, most cuts of meat are usually uncooked in food advertisements. Rather than cooking meat all the way through, which would shrink the portions and generally not be photogenic, food stylists will often craft the outside layer with a blowtorch. Fast food burgers are taken a step further. Hamburger advertisements from popular fast food chains can be even more deceptive, placing ingredients in specific arrangements to appeal to the one angle the camera is looking from. This level of staging can take hours for getting the most appetizing shot. To show texture, photographers get really inventive. Texture plays a major role in promoting the culinary arts, so when a restaurant or food brand wants to sell a product, they need to represent textures perfectly. One prime example is with breakfast cereals, where milk looks suspiciously thick and creamy when compared to reality. To achieve the effect seen in cereal ads, some food photographers will use glue in place of milk, or fill the bottom of the bowl with shortening and use only a thin layer of real milk on top. The pancakes may be real, but the syrup is something else entirely. In most advertisements for pancakes, the syrup seems to ooze just perfectly and with the right color too. That's because motor oil is used as a stand-in, since real syrup would be absorbed into the pancakes. Fresher than fresh berries. The easiest way to get a great photo of a bowl of fresh berries is, of course, to pick some. But that's not always an option, particularly if the berries aren't in season. To bring out the color of the fruits, food stylists will rinse them in cold water with lemon juice. They might also add coloring, but they have to be careful if the dish is appearing on a menu. While stylists can add lipstick or fingernail polish to get more of a pop, that's considered false advertising if the berries are the primary focus of an ad. The food is hot, but steam, that is not. Steaming food won't stay that way for long, so to get their time with a piping hot looking dish, photographers will sometimes use the burning sticks of incense to capture a steady current of steam. If you enjoy content like this video, please subscribe to our channel for more.